Hey, it's July 22nd, 2023. The name of today's vlog is Beef and Fruits. Was Paul Saladino right the whole time? So, to give you a little backstory, I was listening to Paul Saladino in 2020 when he made the switch from animal-based to animal-based and fruit-based. Um, I couldn't believe it. Um, I was taken aback by it. I actually stopped listening to him because I thought that he was trying to separate himself from the rest of the carnivore influencers and create his own niche in the marketplace. And I, honestly, I, I was I was taken aback by it. That's all I can say. So I stopped listening to him immediately. I didn't even listen to his story. I didn't hear what he had to say. I know that Dr. Berry had had a, a done a, a vlog with him and that I thought, I assumed that they argued back and forth, but I listened to it recently. I've done a deep dive into what Dr. Berry has to say about it and what Paul Saladino has to say about it. And they both, they both don't know. They literally don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Dr. Baker doesn't know. None of us know. And it's very clear. And they actually say that. They say that we don't really know what humans did when we evolved, what we ate when we evolved, what uh, fruits were around back then. I don't even know if these things were around. I doubt these were. I'm assuming berries were. But just so you know, here's what happened to me. My runs were not going well um, from the start of summer, which would have been June 20th, until, I don't know, four days ago. I couldn't figure it out. It didn't make sense to me. My body was holding water. Everything was the same. Everything was going the same. I had four pounds extra on my body. I didn't really understand what was going on. I listened to Lily Kane's video. I had listened somewhat to her. She's new to me, but her evolution into what she eats, which is, I guess it would be similar, but there's other things she eats as well. And what basically she says is that she's, she's trying to figure out for her body. And she's not, if you're new to carnivore, I would just eat beef. I would do it for six months to a year and just eat beef. When you get to a weight that you want to get to and you start incorporating exercise, um, you might find that like myself, I didn't have my legs under me for whatever reason. And I did high fat. I've done 80% um, percent of my calories coming from fat, 20% from protein. I've done 75-25. I've done 70-30. I've done 60-40. I don't know what it is right now. I will map that out and, and do a vlog on what my actual macronutrient breakdown is. But I've included fruit so far this week, or at least since my last vlog, which I don't even remember when it was, but it was like four days ago. I've had an orange in the morning with my coffee. And then I have had just the beef for lunch, and then 93.7 beef for lunch, and then 93.7 beef for dinner with three cups of this little medley here, which is raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries, blackberries. I've had some strawberries as well. What I will tell you is this, that water that I was holding in my body that I told you about that started in June, um, June 20th, I believe it was, maybe the 21st, is gone. It was gone immediately the following day after I incorporated these fruits in my diet. I'm not sure if it's just a coincidence, if it's just the way the moon is right now. I do kind of look into that stuff too. But whatever the case, what I'm going to do is before, um, each run, actually today I ran five miles. I don't think it's a coincidence. Again, you have to do this for a long period of time in order to find out if it's working for you, if you've gained weight, if you're holding sugar, your sugar levels are high. It has to be for a long period of time. I don't know how long I'll do this for, but if it's not working for me, I'm not going to do it anymore. Do I still call myself carnivore? I do, but I know that I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this. Um, I was driving the other day and I'm like, so what is it? What do I tell people I am? I didn't want to let people down, but here are the facts. I don't want to let myself down first. I want to feel good. I want to feel my optimum. I want everything I can get out of this body before it's too late. And it, it appears that this has helped. And I like to exercise. I like to exercise two hours a day. It's a choice. I made the choice to prioritize exercise in my life. I like to sweat. I like to go to the gym. I like to run. I like to fly when I'm running. I'm 57 years old next week, and I'm very proud of this. So um, I know that a lot of people don't exercise. It's your choice. But if you do want to get to 10% body fat or lower, you might want to start incorporating some sort of a running or a weightlifting routine. What's so important about 10% body fat with appearance-wise? Yes, it appears great. It's not about appearance as much about appearance as it is about feeling good. 
if you get to 10% body fat or lower, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. It feels unbelievably good. However, and I did do that on carnivore. Carnivore's great. I love carnivore. I want to keep doing carnivore the remainder of my life. But I still didn't have my legs when I was running. You could say that, oh, well, you do weights and then you do running. Look, there's a lot of people that do triathlons. There's a lot of people that use fruit for carbs that do triathlons. And I understand there's influences that are carnivore that do ultra marathons. Zach Bitter is carnivore. He does ultra marathons, but he also incorporates carbohydrates during and after those ultra marathons. You might want to look into that. Getting back to Lily Kane. Lily Kane was great. Um, she had, she influenced me. She did what she's supposed to do or what she intends to do is by, is she influenced me. And I started thinking, maybe I should try something. Why not? And then I thought, well, I'll let down my YouTube people if I do that. I, I can't worry about you guys. You're going to have to find your way. That's what I'm doing right now. And if you have a different way, do a vlog. Um, get, some, get a channel. Make your own channel. Do some videos. I'll watch. I'll pay attention. I listen to everybody. So Paul Saladino and Dr. Barry, if you find that video, it was a year ago. The two of them, they didn't argue. I thought they argued because some of the headlines that I had noticed that people had shared that particular video. I'm like, I don't want to listen to this junk. Uh, they're all just going to say the same thing. No, it's very civil. They're both great. They both make great points, both of them. Um, once again, the biggest problem I have is where does this stuff come from? And is it man-made? That is a huge issue for me. And I'd like to know if you guys know what fruits to eat that are readily available in the supermarket that I can get that will help me. Blueberries? I don't know. Oh, getting back to the start of June 20th, I actually started craving berries. I haven't, I never even liked blueberries. I never even ate them, but I started craving them. And so then I thought, after watching that particular video Lily Kane did, I thought, why am I craving blueberries? Because blueberries are in season. That's why I'm craving them. It's it's innate. It's inside me, and I, I needed them. And, and sure enough, um, they seem to work. I ate one cup of blueberries before a five-mile run today, and I was just absolutely flying. My um, heart rate was very stable, very good. I mean, it went up to whatever, 168, but that's what it does when you're sprinting at the end. Um, I don't know what else to say. Kind of, a, oh, so I was driving in the car, and I'm like, so what do I call it? What do I say to these people? What? And then I thought, caveman. That's what it is. I'm a caveman, just like on the TV series alone. On the TV series alone, there's like three things that they're eating. It's mushrooms and it's berries and then it's meat. And they really want the meat and they really want the fat of the meat. I totally understand that. But it does, I don't know how real that show is, but it's intriguing. I do like it quite a bit and I look forward to seeing it. Um, it's human survival. It's human survival in Saskatchewan. I understand that, which is not, it's different parts of the world are completely different. But it appears to me that berries would be something that we would have eaten if we didn't have meat. And I question the kind of meat that we actually ate as well. I, I would guess it was more like deer meat, to be honest with you. So that's why I have 93.7. That's why I'm using the fruit. Um, we'll see how it goes. If I'm wrong, I'm not going to do any research or show you any charts or anything. I'm, if it's not working for me, I'm just going to go right back to doing what I was doing before. If you're new to carnivore, please just stick to the beef. Don't do any of this stuff. Get to the beef. Get used to it. Lose the weight. Then if you want to go the next level, which is, you know, lower your body fat, then it gets a little tricky. I have plenty of videos that show all that. I hope this helped for people. I hope I don't lose too many subscribers. Maybe I'll gain some. Who knows? But um, that's all I got. Thank you.